All right, I'm here with a brand new pickup video, continuing the garage sale street season pretty, pretty well. Um, as always, like I said, uh, you know, making sure I am taking proper precautions not to get sick uh, as things, you know, still are going on. But uh, some pretty good finds overall, mostly garage sale finds, although a couple little finds here from some trade in that I did uh, to get uh a bigger game I needed for my collection. Uh, so I traded in a bunch of stuff to my local store. Uh, mostly, you know, some carts. Usually my trade-in stuff is the stuff that's not worth selling on eBay. Uh, usually I cut that off of stuff I can't get maybe, you know, you know, ten ninety nine for, nine ninety nine for. Stuff that's not worth putting up on there, I will just put in a trade-in box and let it accumulate for a while and then take it in. I took this stuff in. I got ninety dollars uh, store credit, which was way more than I thought I was going to get because it wasn't really that much stuff. Um, some stuff from the la last last uh, video uh, and some stuff, I guess, mostly from this season actually, which is pretty cool. Um, and I also had a twenty percent off promotion, so I picked up two games. First of all, I just never had seen this one before, so I grabbed it. I don't know if this one's any good or not, um, but I'd never seen it. Shining Force Neo on PS Two. Uh, if anyone's played this one, let me know if this is one a cool one. But this was complete. Uh, they had 20 on it, which is about right price. Uh, and then I picked up a bigger game. Um, they had 130 on it, uh, but with the 20% off, it got knocked down. You know, whatever that is, 104, um, which is a pretty good deal. This one kind of jumped up a little bit more in price lately, so I'm gl glad I picked it up. Uh, I got here a copy of Bomberman Second Attack, so that's pretty cool to have in pretty good shape uh the one thing to be concerned about is if it's in too good of shape then it might be counterfeit but this you know this is definitely legitimate label checks out so really great to get that one knocked off the list um very happy about that uh didn't pay very much out of pocket after you know 150 bucks uh you know 20 percent off and then 90 dollars in store credit didn't really pay too much out of pocket either so that's that's how you do it that's how i've been doing it you know Buy the games at the garage sale. Keep the ones you want. The ones you don't want are the ones you already have. Sell them off. Trade them in and uh, get some other stuff. You know, trade them towards a bigger item. Uh, so I always uh, recommend doing it. So and then, you know, I got some pretty nice Thursday finds. Um, some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, pretty good prices and pretty just, you know, solid quality titles all around. I had like a several, I think three neighborhood sales lined up that I wanted to try to hit uh, this morning. And as I was waking up, I checked again and saw that there was another one. Uh, most of those neighborhood sales started at nine. I saw there was another one that started at eight. So I decided, oh, I'll head over there before the ones at nine. Uh, there was like maybe three or four houses on the street. And I walk up to the first one and it has some younger kids. They're probably about, I don't know, 10 to 12, right? And I... Uh, they had some DS or 3DS and DS stuff out. So uh, the one bundle came with a little stack of games and this uh, red original 3DS original model here with a nice uh, Spider-Man sticker on the back. That's probably going to be very hard to get off. Um, I think I'm probably going to keep this. I don't think I have the red model. Oh, this isn't the greatest shape, so I might not. We will see. Um, <clears throat> but it came with some games in a little folder here. I took them out of the folder and we'll go through what is in there. Not very good titles, but uh, some winners, some decent ones. Um, the cases are kind of interesting, which, but I'll get to that um, here. I already dropped one. Uh, Transformers something. And I looked that one up and complete. It goes for like maybe 13 bucks, so not too bad. Um, Lego Batman 2. Pokemon X, Wipeout 2, another one of the better ones, New Super Mario Brothers, Percy Jackson, which this might be PAL, I know it has the E-U-R, and usually the R games don't have the, the like that C-E, so this might actually be an import, a PAL import, I'm not sure why or how, um, maybe this game based off the, the movie didn't come out here or something. I don't know. Lego Battles Ninjago. And the mystery game, which is uh, Bakugan something. Who cares? 
Uh, it came with the the mom then said, "Oh, we have this big stack of game or cases too. Here's the cases for the games." And she brings out this thing full of it. And on top, the first thing I noticed is the Pokemon Conquest case, which uh, is missing manual and the game's not in there. But I actually just found this game last year. This is kind of a harder DS game to get. I just found this one, this game last year, and uh, so now I at least have a case for it to add it to the collection. I believe this is a. Um, this was late release. This was after the 3DS came out. You can see it, it says <laughs> play on the 3DS. This is a crossover between like Nobunaga's Ambition and Pokemon. And it's like a strategy game. I've heard great things about it. So I've been wanting to play it for a while. Um, I haven't checked it out yet. I've had the game for like a year, but I now have the case at least. So I'll be reminded I have it when I look at my shelf, uh, which is half the battle with me playing a game because I'm kind of stupid. Uh, but most of the cases, here's the stack of cases. There's nothing too stunning in here. Uh, most of them had manuals and everything. Most of them are not to the games I got. Um, some of them were, but most of them were not. So I don't know what's up with, with that, but I got some cases at least. Uh, I have extra cases for the new Super Mario Brothers and the uh, Pokemon X. I have several of those cases each, so uh, that'll make that better for selling on eBay. But not a bad bundle all around there. Um, I felt kind of bad because <laughs> then like a younger brother or something was like, oh, come in. I have a DS2. Come and look at my bundle. And they, the younger brother had like the same red DS with the same $50 price tag, but he only had one, like it was this FIFA game. Um, and it's like, ah, <laughs> sorry, I'm more interested in the games. I don't want to pay 50 for just the system with the, with a with a game. So I felt kind of bad, but. Sorry, your big bro has uh, better games there. Um, an interesting find at one of the neighborhood garage sales I went to. Uh, maybe find of the day? Maybe find of the day. A uh, little plastic bag here marked for a dollar with four Game Boy Advance games. Um, Zelda Four Swords. Well, Zelda Link to the Past Four Swords. Uh, NES Classic Zelda. Um... Has the Minish Cap in here, as you can see there, and then uh, Tetris World. So a quarter each on some pretty quality Game Boy Advance games. Kef definitely cannot complain about that. Um, let's see where next. This was kind of a weird one. I was at a sale. They didn't really have much of anything, and I spotted this game behind the table they were sitting at. I didn't even know if it was part of the sale. I just asked, is that for sale? And she said something like, oh, it can be. And I'm like, okay, how much do you want? And she's like, I don't know, tell me. And I said, I don't know, how's $2 sound? So I got a copy of Blitz the League 2 for $2. Uh, it's complete. This is maybe an over $20 game, so not too bad. The disc was kind of scratched, but hopefully I should get able to get that work. I got some new pads and stuff for my uh, resurfacing machine, so I think I should be able to get that cleaned up pretty nicely. Uh, another, then on the next neighborhood sale I went to, I think the last neighborhood sale of the day, um, they had a big stack of like PS3 games in a tub. They had a system, but like the system had like the front part torn off. It was the super slim one, like the front where near, like, I don't know why it was like torn off at the top. I have no idea why, uh, they wanted 50 for the system and $3 on the game. I definitely, I would have probably bought the system for 50 cause it came with three controllers that were all in nice shape, but I don't, <laughs> I don't want the torn off front of the PS3. I don't know why that was. But I got a couple of the games for $3. The kids, or whoever had this, kept their stuff in absolutely horrible condition. Absolutely just destroyed their stuff. So there's a Minecraft here. Like, the case is all torn up. You can hear the disc rattling in there. Because for they wouldn't, like, close... Like, all the games were like this. I don't know if you can really see if it comes across. But not closed properly. Like, a normal functioning human being would close it like this. Uh, and <laughs> I just called... A, probably a small child and non-normal functioning human being. But take care of your stuff. I was taking care of my stuff at your age. Um, yeah, I mean, this this is pretty rough shape, but Minecraft's always a good buy to flip and make some money for new games. I also, this is, uh, if you're not aware, some of, like, late release uh, sports games for systems often hold a little bit of value. Um, so this one's not too bad. MLB The Show 16. Uh, this, I believe, is the last PS3, the show. It might have gone to 17, but the later release sports games definitely hold their value, so I would, you know, keep an eye on that. those if you're out and about. Probably not too interested for your own collection, but someone might want them. 
it's an easy flip uh, to buy some good, you know, good stuff on your own. Um, I asked if then they had more games, and she said, yeah, I got a bunch of old Wii games and brought out two shoeboxes full of Wii games. Not a ton of great titles, but she only wanted a dollar each on the game, so I picked out a stack of six good titles here. Um, some of them were like this. Some of them came like this. I guess the artwork must have got ruined or something. So, again, what? Oh, though the artwork is... What the heck? <laughs> so here's the game here, and then they... I didn't see this earlier. I thought this was just the manual. They folded up the artwork. Why would they do that? <laughs> this is a live reaction to this. That's flabber, I'm flabbergasted. That's ridiculous. How bad are these discs, I wonder? I didn't really check them. Ooh. Eesh. Oh, dear. <laughs> we'll see. I think the resurfacing just needs to clean that up. But yeah, that's weird. I didn't know they did that. So here's another one that came like this. I, you could probably see what it is. Uh, New Super Mario Brothers. We, you know, these might be done and dead. I didn't see, oh my gosh. I didn't see how bad a condition these are. Uh, for a dollar. Hopefully not all of them are too bad. Uh, Mario Super Sluggers, this one came normally. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what this kid did to these games. <laughs> what did they, what did this child do? Please. Take care of your games, kids. This one didn't have an artwork, Mario Kart Wii, although did it have an artwork that they just folded up? I don't know. Yeah, these are all really rough. I might be spending an afternoon at the resurfacing machine the, at the Easy Pro tomorrow. Um, more in Sonic Olympic Games. Uh, probably not the best pickup, but for a dollar. Uh, not a good pickup when the disc looks like that, though. And then this is probably one of the more interesting ones, Pokemon Battle Revolution. Don't see this game very often. Um, this one looks like they got it resurfaced. That doesn't put a lot of <laughs> that doesn't put a lot of give me a lot of confidence that that's gonna work. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, a dollar each, maybe not the best deal. Uh, I should have checked the discs a little better. Um, please take care of your games if you're younger, and if you have children who are younger, please teach them how to take care of their stuff. Once again, so when some kind of idiot man child who buys their games at a garage sale when they're older buys them he doesn't have to put up with the headache of cleaning them up um another random find hopefully in much much better shape another dollar wii game much better shape than that other one a complete copy of twilight princess that was at a sign this was at a sale that i caught the sign off the road and followed the sign i don't think it was listed anywhere and then earlier in the day i was at a sale and a woman when i was asking about games a woman who just was going to other sales told me um, that she had been at a sale that they had a lot of PlayStation stuff and kind of gave me the general area it was at. So I went down that way. I missed out on the PlayStation stuff. It was a PS2, and then he said he had, like, some Kingdom Hearts and Grand Theft Auto. So nothing, you know, too monetarily great. It would have probably been a good bundle. So I'm a little bit... wish I would have maybe got that because, you know, PS2 stuff's always good to get. But uh, there was still some game stuff left. So I picked that up uh, for $4. Maybe expensive, but I like collecting these, so... I don't really care. I got the strategy guide for Omega Rufy, Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. <laughs> Omega Rufy. <laughs> okay. And then also this game here, which is surprising, believe it or not, worth a little bit. Has a little bit of value. Not great, but shape up for the Xbox One. This was only a dollar. So for five bucks, I got that stuff. Uh, not too bad overall. A um, little bit of a bummer with those discs looking so bad. But I think I should be able to bring them back to life in the machine. There's no way that they would work how they are now, though. Got some, you know, Friday finds then. Uh, some pretty slow Friday, but a few good little things here and there. So not bad day overall. Um, I went up to a garage sale, like a neighborhood sale that started at 8. And there was about 25 sales. I didn't find a single thing there. Um just really weird sale. I was the only person there until like 8.30ish. And then I saw some Amish people that were like shopping. Very, very strange. It was like a half hour drive to it. So it kind of sucked that I, you know, went, went all the way out there. I uh, got that, didn't, didn't get anything. But, you know, uh, another little, little find that I got afterwards. A uh, box of PlayStation 2 stuff. Uh, not really that great. It was only $10 though. So it was definitely worth it. But... Uh, not really that great. Came with some games. Um, 
a lot of them were missing discs. This one here was missing disc, Need for Speed Underground, but the case is in good shape at least. Uh, Ratchet and Clank was missing disc here. Um, it's always funny, you know, the, the better games are not missing disc, but Tiger Woods 06, you know, you better believe that this guy's complete in there. Yeah. Thank God. Don't know what I'd do without it. Uh, this, I don't know why SpongeBob Halloween DVD was in there. It was also missing discs. So, I don't know. Didn't come with a system either, which is kind of weird. This one is one of the better ones, Simpsons Road Rage. Uh, unfortunately, the disc was pretty bad, but it is complete. I can probably run it through the resurfacer. Uh, that's a, you know, a bit of a better title there. Uh, this one I'll probably throw in my own collection, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 7. I don't have this one, and this one is complete and in pretty decent shape. Um, I don't know what happened here. I guess maybe I'll go on my tirade from the last segment again uh, about keep taking good care of your stuff. They, like, ripped the plastic off of the case here for some reason for Flat Out 2. I don't know why. It's Flat Out 2, but it also has the Flat Out manual in there with Flat Out 2. Who knows? <laughs> I, I don't know anymore. Uh, ATV, Off-Road Fury. Um... Tiger Woods 09. Uh, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. I'll probably throw this one in my collection too. It's in good shape and complete. Uh, and then just some other stuff in here. Um, these things are always solid gold during, during the garage sale season. Uh, because just I get a lot of systems that don't come with them. Uh, and they're usually about 10 bucks that when I want to replace one. I get one at my store, local store, and they don't always have them. So... Uh, Power cord for the PS2 Slim. No PS2 Slim system, unfortunately. But, and then there's another, you know, thing of video cables for the PS2. So, and, and a controller. Uh, that there probably was worth $10 for me. There's dog food in this box? Why? Oh, that's gross. <laughs> there's dog food at the bottom of this box for some reason. I'm, oh God, I don't know why. Um, not a bad find overall. Dog food and all. Um, so, that's pretty good. Just got thrown off by that dog food. I don't know why there was a little thing, a little, like, kibble pellet at the bottom of the box. I don't know. Um, $5 at a sale. Not a bad find. Ratchet & Clank uh, HD collection. Uh, I don't know if, if anyone knows, if anyone has this and knows if this has a manual or not, please let me know. It didn't come with a manual. I know a lot of later release PS3 games didn't come with a manual. This is 2012, so I would assume it probably didn't. <clears throat> but if anyone has this game, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. And then, third week in a row on this one, I found another copy of Sonic uh, Sonic 06. Uh, this one's been treating me pretty, pretty well. It sells pretty fast for some reason, and this was complete and in pretty decent shape. So, three weeks in a row on Sonic 06, guys. And then another little sale. Um, I almost didn't stop at it because it just looked really bad. Uh, kind of like an old lady-ish type sale. But I did see this. When I went up, I'm glad I did, because I did see this here, just sitting on the table. Uh, and this was, like, a, pretty late in the day, too. I was surprised this was still out. Uh, SNES Classic, an actual real one, not like one of the bootlegs. And uh, has two controllers with it, if you can see. And all the cables and everything for $15. I asked if they had any more game stuff, and she said that her son has a bunch of it. And he might want to get rid of it. I left my contact information. I don't really expect anything out of that, but you never know. And then just another random find. I don't even remember what day this was. This was somewhere in the middle of the week. I don't remember what day it was uh, at a sale. Um, a copy here of Namco Museum Volume 2. Uh, if you're not aware, I think I paid a dollar or two for this. It wasn't much. If you are not aware, um, Namco Museum 2, 3, and or 2, 4, and 5 are actually kind of worth something on uh, PS1. So keep an eye out for those. I'd like to get all of them. Uh, because they actually do, all five volumes actually do spell out Namco. You got the A there, uh, which, I don't know, something kind of fun about that. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for this one. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Gaming. Leave a comment down below uh, if you've been able to pick up anything uh, lately. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and like the video. All the likes, comments, and subscribes really help out the channel, help it to grow. And it's been growing pretty well, so I thank you for that. Um, and until next time, thank you.